Yes, hello to all the human and social biology students across the Caribbean. Now for today's video, what I will be doing, I will be going through question one for the January paper, that is the 2017 um, January receipt paper. So as you can see from section A, which of course would take care of question one. Now the first question, they are saying, Table 1 shows a data and problems associated with persons who, of course, abuse a drug. Table 1, problems associated with persons who abuse a drug. As you can see, as for the table, you have alcohol, tobacco, and of course, marijuana. As for the percentage, Add issues with family and friends. You have 17% for alcohol, 32% for tobacco, and 19% for marijuana. Missed classes: 29% for alcohol, 9% for tobacco, 27% for marijuana. Being in trouble with the law: 3% for alcohol, 3% for tobacco, and 19% for marijuana. Being in fights. 13% for alcohol, 4% for tobacco, 73% for marijuana. Done something illegal to obtain drug, you have 4% for alcohol, 7% tobacco, and 22% for marijuana. Now the first question to this table, identify the drug that has the most negative impact on the user. So all you need to do is just to check the percentage in terms of which one would have the greatest in terms of when you add all of those figures. Then right away, as you can see, you would just need, simply need to, in terms of the greatest negative impact, just look for the one that have the highest in terms of numbers. And you, right away, you'll see that, of course, it is marijuana. Because in terms of adding issues with friends and family it is 19 but of course tobacco would have the highest but when i had it go right down then you will realize that marijuana 27 right there versus a 29 and you have the 19 there versus a 3 and 3 here you have a 20 you have 73 here versus 13 under alcohol and of course 4 under tobacco and you have 22 versus 4 under alcohol and of course, seven under tobacco. So, what, as you can see clearly, um, it would be marijuana that, of course, has the greatest effect or the greatest um, impact. So, let's go down to the second question: Which two drugs have the greatest impact on users' relationship with friends and family and academic life? So, let's look at the friends and family first. And for the answer here, I have is tobacco so let's look at how tobacco affect friends and family here as you can see 32 percent there for tobacco under friends and family so that is really um clear so friends and family it is um 32 there um second in line to the alcohol of course will be marijuana as you can see it is of course 19 percent for marijuana so the answer of answer for that is of course marijuana and tobacco right there in terms of affecting friends and family relationship um, moving down to the next question um, this one said as for academic life and for academic life let's just look for your senior miss classes so going right across there as you can see it is alcohol that would that will stand at number one in terms of affecting your academic life and um, second in line is marijuana so of course alcohol and marijuana will definitely affect your academic life let's move down to the next question this one is a next table they are saying that table two shows the gender and month and monthly income of those person in table one and page four so of course table two related to table one so this one is showing the monthly income as you can see 
characteristic there of alcohol tobacco marijuana in terms of percentage now the gender now so what they're saying is that male 79 percent normally be in terms of being alcohol being drinking alcohol 68 for tobacco and 58 for marijuana the female 62 for alcohol 20 for tobacco and 10 percent for marijuana the multi-income now now less than 250,000 so those are the person who are earning less than um, 250,000 those persons 50 percent of them normally drink alcohol 8 percent tobacco and of course 8 percent would smoke marijuana for those persons earning between 250 and 800 62 percent of them normally consume alcohol 21% would smoke tobacco and just 7% smoke marijuana. But those individuals who are earning between 801 and 1600, they normally consume 73% um, alcohol, or 73 of them percent normally consume alcohol. 13% of them smoke tobacco. Only 11% would smoke marijuana. And persons who are earning greater than 1,600 would, of course, 71% of them would consume alcohol, 31% smoke tobacco, and 15% smoke marijuana. So, as for the first question, which gender is most likely to engage in substance abuse? Looking at the table, which gender? Male, 17, 79 for alcohol 68 for tobacco 58 for marijuana for female 62 20 and 10 so right away the answer for that is male next question which substance is most likely to be abused by persons from all economic backgrounds and I have alcohol so I'm gonna show you there so as for alcohol um, these are different economic background and you'll realize that for alcohol the figure is way much above under tobacco for example and also marijuana for under 250 50 percent there and you have eight for tobacco and eight for marijuana let's look at these two at the bottom here for example 801 to 1600 you have 73 there 13 and of course 11 73 year 31 and 15 so of course it would be um, alcohol this last question which income bracket shows the highest level of drug abuse the income bracket now and of course I have 1600 those who are earning greater than 1600 as you realize that under alcohol it's under 73 percent and the tobacco 31 percent and of course under marijuana you have um 15 percent there so what what the table is basically showing is that the greater you earn or the more you earn i mean the greater chance of you um abusing substance in terms of those drugs so let's move on to the next question now c section now of question one um, Portia has, has been overweight for over or uh, for about 20 years suggests three health problems that she could develop as a result of her excess weight these are my three answers high blood pressure diabetes and of course coronary heart disease so having these three then you would get your three marks the next question the doctor tells Portia that she is suffering from malnutrition. Explain to Portia how it is possible to be overweight and suffering from malnutrition. So, um, as for malnutrition, no mal malnutrition is normally whenever a person is eating too much or too little of a particular nutrient. And um, as for her, she's overweight, so it could be a case where she's eating too much fat, for example. And that's what I have for the second point here. So it can be that she is eating too much fat. The next question, the doctor advised Portia to eat more fruits and vegetables 
of what benefit would fruits and vegetables be to her. Fruits and vegetables, they normally speed up the metabolism and of course that can be the digestive process. So fruits and vegetables would basically speed up that. The next one is that some fruits and vegetables burn fat. So it would of course speed up how the human body utilizes fat. Especially those fruits and vegetables that contain a lot of calcium and also vitamin C. And um, the last one here, fruits and vegetables normally make you feel um, full. So the stomach normally feel full when you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables vegetables so you having that feeling of course will reduce the chance of you eating or consume some more food that would contain a lot of fat so that is question one coming from the january 2007 paper of course look out for the video which i will be showing you the answer are going through question two so once again i'm um, student you want a social biology student across the caribbean thanks for viewing of course, please stay tuned for the rest of the paper. So once again, thanks for viewing. And please, guys, remember to share the video and also click on the subscription button so that you can be notified once I upload um, the video answering the next question. So thanks for viewing. Your teacher is out of here.